Hey, so today I'm going to do a video. Um, one of my subscribers wanted me to talk about baby daddies, um, baby mamas. Well, it's like, not, yeah, baby daddies, baby mamas, I guess. But she wanted me to talk about baby dads and um, women who have kids that don't take care of them. So here we go. Um, a lot of times, like I was telling my sister, I was like, a lot of times I don't talk about baby daddy drama or whatever because I don't go through it. I don't deal with it. Um, I didn't deal with it. Just pure point blank. If I did, went through a lot of shit that women went through with dudes that don't take care of their kids, I would be in jail. Just pure point blank. You're going to pay for them some kind of way. I don't know what, what kind of way. Something's going to happen. Anyway, Debbie Daddy that don't take care of their kids. I know a gang of these bastards. I know a gang of them that will take care of their women that they're dealing with be before they take care of their kids. I know dudes that uh, see their kids when they want to. Like, where did all that come from? Where, where, where they do that, that, that you get to see, see them when, you want, when they want to? Or um, just not take care of them. I, I just don't get it. I said that in another video. Like, I just don't get it where people have kids and don't take care of them. Um, how, take, buying them Jordans. Or buying them the newest, latest gear is not taking care of your kids. It's shit. They uncle, auntie can do shit like that. So that's not taking care of your kids. Taking care of your kids is making sure they have a place to lay their head. They got food in their mouth. I mean, they well-being is just taking care of overall. Making sure their school work is done. Making sure they just being better people in society. That's taking care of your kids. Not buying them the, the latest Jordan or the newest iPhone. Or nothing like that. No. Um, deadly dads. I mean, I just, ugh, I just can't do it. Um, women that, that have kids that don't take care of them, bitch, jump off a fucking curb and break an ankle. I don't know what else to tell you. Like, how do you let something grow inside of you, move around, come out of you, whether it's a C-section or vaginal, and you don't take care of your kids, or you rather take care of the next dude than take care of your kids? Or bitches that don't, and I say bitches because, to me, you're not a mother. If you have a child and you don't take care of them, you're a bitch. Sorry, period, point blank. But um, bitches, that, they they rather go to the club and take care of their kids. They rather go whatever. They get their hair done and take care of their kids. I've seen so many kids where their parents look fly. Hair bitch and paid a hundred and some dollars to get her weed done. They can't pay ten, fifteen dollars to get a goddamn son haircut. I don't get it. Like, <laughs> Or bitches that you rather just go out and cook for your kids. I mean, anything that has to do with being a mother. Like I don't, mm -mm. couldn't do it. Mm -mm. I just, I guess I'm so glad that I just wasn't raised like that. And that's where it starts from when you be how you being raised. So a lot of times women don't know. Women wasn't raised to to with that maternal instinct or. Um, they don't have that maternal instinct, or they wouldn't just raised to care about other people, or they don't know how. You know, it's a lot of girls that grew up that they have to grow up real fast because either it was so much going on in their house that they had to grow up, so they wasn't taught how to cook. They wasn't taught how to clean. They wasn't taught how to take care of somebody else. Besides, you know, they always, they got that mentality of take care of myself and make sure I survive. There, is a, there are a lot of women like that. There are a lot of men like that. But I, I just can't see you not taking care of your kids. I, I, I just can't see it. I, I really don't. Um, women that get a check, a welfare check, and don't do nothing for your kids with that welfare check. Bitch, are you stupid serious, like? Where they do that at? That you don't take care of your kids with the money that they, the welfare system gives you to take care of your kids, but your cell phone is paid, you got some new shoes on, but your son or daughter can't even get lunch money for school, or they ain't even got on some clean clothes for school, or they clothes look dingy and dirty. I just, no. Nah. Mm -mm. That's why when... A couple, of, like a year ago or something, it was going on the internet where they were talking about the welfare office was making people drug tests to be on the welfare system. I wasn't asked. 
I was not mad at that at all. Only for the simple fact a lot of women use their money for weed, mollies, or whatever, and their kids not taken care of. There, you see it so many times where you walk in people's house and they kids off the damn chain, but they sitting there smoking a blunt. Like, mm -mm. I mean, maybe this is off the subject, but it just all has to do with parenting and being the best parent that you can be. Daddy, baby daddy, whatever you want to call yourself. Stop getting with the next broad girl, woman, whatever you want to call her. Stop getting with her and, and bashing your ex girl to her. Especially if you got kids with this girl. Stop bashing her. Like, there's, there's nothing good that's going to come out of you bashing your ex girl to your new girl if y'all got kids. She's not going to have respect for your, your baby mama. You don't have respect for your baby mama if you're talking about it. Because, like, I don't, let me tell you. I'll I just put my story out there. I have a baby daddy. I don't even call him a baby daddy. I have my son's father. Does he take care of his son? I don't, I don't have drama with him. We have not been together in over, shit, 12, 13 years. My son is six, my son is 16. We ain't been together in 14 years. And um, we don't go through that. We don't go through going back and forth, bickering. We don't go where you better not bring your girl over here. You better not bring your new man over here. We don't. We never have. We broke up because it just didn't work. But I don't bash my, I don't bash him to my son. He doesn't bash me to my son. He doesn't bash me to the girls he deal with. I don't bash him to my dude. It doesn't work like that. And, and things go so smooth like that. I can call him and say, look, this is what's going on. Or he can call me and say, this is what's going on. Or this is what the child needs. And we talk like adults. We just talk like adults. Can nobody you know, I mean, that I know, tell nobody that me and my baby daddy have my son's father has ever went through some ghetto drama. And that's called being mature. But, yeah, I just can't see how that be. Like, how do you have your feet out there and you don't see about them, check on them, but then you go with somebody that have kids? Can you tell me that? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I really need to know. How do you not take care of your seat, but you go with somebody that has a seat? I, I, I don't get that either. I don't get where a girl get with a guy and try to take care of all their kids, but you're not taking care of your kids, but you're making sure his child got Christmas stuff, his child got uh, birthday stuff. But then your kids is not getting treated the same way. Or you didn't want to do that don't want to have shit to do with your kids. That, that's another thing I don't like. I don't see how women get with dudes and been talking to dudes for a long time, and they never have nothing to do with your child. They only want to come take you out. They be like, oh, you, do you have a babysitter for your child? Or What about us taking the baby to check your kids? What about us taking the baby to the park? Like, you're not going to keep smashing me, and you don't have no kind of relationship with my kids. Like, no. I, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Um, this may be not be the video that that I was supposed to do or the, that somebody wanted me to talk about, but this is the video that you get. Um, women that 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 try to use their child for leverage over the door. Bitch, please, right? This is what's wrong with society and kids not having fathers now is when you got stupid ass ratchet girls. Try to say, well, if you're not with me, you can't deal with my baby. Or if you, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that shit is stupid. Like, this is not going to be able to teach him how to be a man. It's to tell him, oh, well, if you're not dealing with me, you can't deal with him. Like, who does that? Oh, you, you tripping with me? You better not call my house. You better not say nothing to my son. Bitch, drop off the curb like I said and break an ankle. Because, come on, like... Your child needs their father, whether that their father is good, bad, indifferent, 
gay, straight, transsexual, whatever, that child needs their father. Every child needs a mother and a father. Even if they're not together, you still need both of them. There are some things that I can't teach my son and that his father can. There are some things that his father cannot teach him that I can. Like, I, he probably can't teach him how to treat women the way I can teach him how to treat women. I mean, that was just period. Like, because, you know, so many guys, they go through this thing where, um, oh, my son is macho if he's doing this and doing that early. But you got that mother that's there to balance it out to say, hey, this is not how you treat girls. You treat girls the way you would want them to treat me as your mom because you wouldn't go for a dude to treat me like that. So that's, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said you need both parents and not try to use one against each other. That, like, that shit is not cool. Parents got to get better so the world can get better. When the parents get better, they can teach their kids better, and the world can get better. That's all I'm saying. It's just, it's, just some, it's like the way things are going in the world nowadays, it's just, it, it needs to stop, and it starts with parents, and it starts with being at home and teaching your kids right, and teaching your kids, like, don't sleep with everybody so you can't be a baby mama or a baby daddy. Like, that's the thing. Stop sleeping with every goddamn body and you won't be a baby mama or baby daddy. Maybe you'll be somebody, a mother or somebody's child or a father or somebody's child. That's all. Anyway, that's my um review of baby daddies, baby mamas, dead beats, whatever you want to call them. Um, follow me on Twitter at the girl of you, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, Instagram me at Miss Nika, um, M-I-Z-Z-N-E-K-A-69, or Facebook me at Together You Talk to me, I'll talk back. Give me something. Um, but yeah, just let's make this a popping channel, and we can get these little topics going, and I can tell y'all how I feel. Um, alright, peace.